This is a comparison of vasogenic and cytotoxic cerebral edema. The location differs. In vasogenic cerebral edema, you're primarily affecting the white matter, whereas in cytotoxic, you're primarily affecting the gray matter, with the neuron or glial cell bodies being affected. The mechanism is also different. In the vasogenic cerebral edema, you have blood-brain barrier disruption that leads to extracellular fluid accumulation, whereas in cytotoxic cerebral edema, you have cell injury and death that leads to intracellular swelling. The causes can be different. In vasogenic, you have tumors, abscesses, uncontrolled hypertension, and endothelial inflammation, whereas in cytotoxic, it can be caused by ischemia, hypoxia, osmotic imbalances, trauma, and toxins. MRI findings. In vasogenic, you have T2 hypersensitivity with no diffusion restriction. In cytotoxic, you have subtle early changes, and you can have a significant diffusion restriction. The treatment response is different as well. Glucocorticoids like dexamethasone helps in vasogenic cerebral edema, but does not help in cytotoxic cerebral edema. And it can actually make things worse if it causes hyperglycemia or exacerbates hypertension.